Hey YouTube, it's 1280. Um, today I'm going to show you how to weigh a garage door. Um, if you recognize the garage, I did a video on, in here. Well, we have a busted spring here. So, I'm going to weigh the door. So, here we go. Make sure you have cables attached because you use them. So, I'm going to lift up. Lower the, or raise the door up. Let's get the door. So, I can put my scale under. By the way, if you're wondering why I raise up, isn't that back unwinding the springs? Well, not in this case. This case, that is, you'd be winding it because um, this case you'd be winding it because it's low headroom outside thicket. So I'm gonna start to scale it zeroed out. There. I'm using one of those old analog ones. I'm not using a digital because, in uh, my opinion, they are more accurate. So now that I have it, uh, the bathroom scale there, the left up enough to got tips on the gills, remove my vice grips, and lower the door down on two scale, and then read. In this case, I have a hundred and forty pound door. Which is actually not as heavy as you might you would think for this door. Alright, then lift the door back up. Okay. Grab the new bathroom scale, pull it out, and then do the same thing to get the door back down. And I know you're thinking, well, if I, what if I don't have winding bars? Can I just max out the force on the opener and do it? No, because the opener, A, if you have a single spring like this, and um, um, you try to open it, you could actually destroy the door itself. And B, with the opener um, pushing the door down, that's going to throw your weight off. So. So there we go. That is how you weigh a garage door with a bus spring. If you had two springs, it um, what you would do in this in that case is let's say this was a two spring setup is and this wasn't outside pickup. Like let's say this was at my parents' house. So by the way, this is how you wind a spring on this door. Unless he's not going to do anything to it's broken, but... Also, the cables are going to go off, but... This is how you... Yeah, so... Anyway, so for uh, them, or at my parents' house, I'd pull down, okay, then I'd lift up to um, get the door down, and I would put my other bar in, lift up, a little bit and put a little bit of slack on the cables to get the uh, weight and then I pull down to um, pull down to obviously um, pull down to the, uh, the uh, bathroom scale out so anyway guys that's how you weigh a door um, oops. so let me so yeah, that's all I can see. Go ahead and just uh, real quick. I need to tighten the case. That's the case rattling. Here's this one. It's not connected, obviously. Running just fine. This one, I need to use my vice grips and adjust the chain tension. 
Oh. Gotta hold the button because the uh, ladder's in the center's path. There we go. By the way, the light doesn't work on this one. The button's weird, but this one works. This one has a glitch in its logic board, meaning it runs just fine, even though uh, you can see it, yeah, it center's flashing, even though nothing's in the way and it runs up and down just fine. So I'm gonna run this door down. I'm going to adjust the chain, because it vibrates a lit of quite a bit and clicks, uh, and uh, it does hit the rail a little bit, so I'm gonna adjust the chain on that one. Okay. I did um, oil this door as well. I have some Clopi Pro Lube uh, because it was squealing just a little. So I'm going to adjust this chain tension and this spring is also going to be replaced. We're going to replace both springs he wants to uh, because since that one broke uh, and they're both installed at the same time and they look original to this door. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and replace both. So check back for a video of new uh, springs on this door. These openers tighten down and quiet. So um, yeah, I'll probably do a video on how to wind a um, it's warm today. Probably going to do a video on how to wind a spring on a um, low header outside pickup. And the reason we have low header is this big beam in the way. So. Um, I think this is a seven by, or nine or eight by seven, six. So it almost looks kind of taller than a seven foot door. I'm not sure. I'm about roughly about six feet. Yeah, about seven foot, maybe a little more. Maybe it's just the way overhead doors, door is, but all right, let me get to it.